Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaching and today we're doing my July TBR. Alright guys, so I'm back and we're gonna do another little TBR jar pick today. I just love doing TBR jars. So I will start out with saying I always have two books already for each month because I am in two book clubs. Uh, my BFF's book club is doing Mara, um, is it Queen of the Nile or Daughter of the Nile? I'll put it up right here. I'm going to be listening to this on audiobook, I believe, because that's the only way I can obtain it. Um, but I am excited about this one. This is one that I have not read, so excited about that. And then for my women's Christian nonfiction book club, it is up against C.S. Lewis's The Reflection of the Psalms. Um, which I'm kind of hoping we get this one. This one has been up a couple of months and has not gotten picked, so. And then this is also a really good one, though. Or I think it's going to be a really good one. I haven't read it either, but that's Revolution in World Missions. So these are my options, and I will put up which one we pick in the description box below because we will have picked by the time this goes up. So yeah, those are going to be my two that I already have. And I think I'm gonna pick, I think I'm gonna do eight more, but yeah. Let's see. A book published in the month of your birthday. So published in January. Um, I'm gonna have to do some research for this one. So, okay. On. So for a book published in the, in my birth month, um, my birth month is January and I was not finding a lot, but I finally found one and that is In Love Finds You in Humble, Texas. This is by Anita Higman. Um, I feel like this is, I don't know, this might not be Christian. It might just be clean. I don't know. I had a friend who gave these to me, so we will see. I might have to, hmm, I don't know. I like going into books blind, so. But I guess I will be reading this one. I feel like July is a pretty good month to read a Texas romance. So yeah, that's our first pick of the video. Let's do another one. Oh, I got two. My bad. All right. A book that was recommended to you by family or a friend. Ooh. Ooh. What book has been recommended to me? by family or a friend. I mean, I do have like a couple, but like some of them are like, okay, like in my book club, I'm gonna be reading it on a certain month or that I know my husband's gonna be picking for my TBR next month. <laughs> I know that Pride and Prejudice has been recommended to me um, by quite a few of my friends. I don't know, this kind of seems short, or is it just the, it doesn't say it's an abridged version. Okay, but I guess I'm gonna go with this because I don't know what else that's not on my list already. So we're gonna try to read Pride and Prejudice this month, guys. Wish me luck with this. I've not had good luck with Jane Austen, but this is one that I've really wanted to read. So don't, don't fail me, Jane Austen. Fingers crossed, right? <laughs> All right. I'm like, I probably should have put more props in here because I don't have a lot left. I think I'll have enough, but. Okay, a book with the sky on the cover. That's an interesting one. Um, I feel like there's a lot of skies on the cover because this one has a sky on the cover. Uh, this one kind of has a sky on the cover, I would say. Um, that one has the sky on the cover. That one has the sky on the cover. That one definitely has the sky on the cover. Oh, that one has the sky on the cover. So many of these have the sky on the cover. 
That one does too. Just got a thing. Hmm. What do I want to read? Is the question. Am I right? That has the stay on the car too. Ooh. I feel like, ugh. There's a couple here that have the sky on the cover that I do like really want to read and I'm just like not sure. Cause like if I was going with what had like the most sky on the cover, it would definitely be this one. You know? Should I read this one? All the light we cannot see. This is a big chonker. Is this a good summer book is what I'm wondering though, you know? I was slumping a bit this past month and I don't know, this seems like just such a big book. And it just doesn't give me summer vibes. has like the sky on it so I think I'm gonna go with this one um I've heard oh gosh who was that Ashlyn yeah Ashlyn here on booktube talk about this one and I was like oh my gosh I got that one because it was in the Appalachian Mountains and I was like yes um but she really liked it so I've been very interested and I believe this is a thriller right suspense thriller is there any an actual difference? I don't know. But this is what we're going to go with is The Silent Woods by Kimmy Cunningham Grant. So here's our third one. <laughs> a little bit like, I feel like I'm low energy today, guys. I'm sorry. It's probably because I was doing chores all morning. Um, a book with green on the cover. Okay. Okay. Again, I feel like, ooh, ooh guys. Should I do my Hunger Games reread and read the new one this month? I think I should. I think I should. I have been like waiting for this. Guys, we're going to read The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. I loved the Hunger Games series. I mean, I don't think it's like a perfect series. It's not like one of my all-time favorites, but I loved it. I do love it. And <laughs> it is one that I will like will be on my shelf and I will reread. And I have been so excited about this so excited about this so yay I feel like we're not picking very colorful books today though that's okay I wore a very colorful shirt so we can totally just say that that makes up for it um a book with an epilogue okay I'm gonna have to check for this one what book do I want to read <laughs> I haven't read Practice Makes Perfect yet, but I've heard some things and I'm a little bit scared to try it. It has been a while since I've read a Sarah Adams. Do you have an epilogue? It has an epilogue. Okay. So I think I'm going to go with The Off Limits Rule by Sarah Adams because, yes, I love Sarah Adams. And I've been wanting to read this for a while. So this one's a bit more colorful. It does not match my shirt like last videos, but that's okay. That's okay. We're going strong. How many we got here? We got five. Okay, let's do three more then. Let's see here. Anything you want. Anything I want. I promise that's what it says. See? Anything I want. I can pick anything that I want. What have I already got here? Got two romances, a classic, a thriller, and then a fantasy, I guess. Is is that what? A dystopian? Um, what am I like really wanting to read right now? <laughs> Normally this is like something that you're like, oh yay, it's anything I want. But like it's <laughs> I feel like I already picked a few like really good ones, so. <laughs> this was on my TBR a while ago and I never read it, but this is The Gosh and Lingerie by Timothy Williams. It's a little play. It's very short and I need to read it and just get it off my TBR and see if I want to keep it. Um, so I'm just going to go with that. 
there we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. It doesn't have to be that hard. Oh, how cute would it have been if all my yellow books were in this month? I don't know why, but just because it's July. But I guess it works for June too. Yeah, like June's a, you know, a booktuber recommendation. Ooh, okay. Well, <sighs> okay. Okay, I will have to ask a booktuber then. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Or I'm like trying to think, has a booktuber recommended any of the books on my shelf? Well, technically that one was for Sky. I would have to pick a different one for Sky. Ashlyn has recommended this one. Do I wanna just do that and pick a different one for Sky? Yeah, let's just okay. So we're gonna do with this because Ashlyn's recommended that and I don't yeah, I kind of want to do a whole video of reading what booktubers recommend me, so I don't want to, like, message anybody right now. And I'm just going to do <sighs> Love Finds You in Romeo, Colorado. So I'm going to read two of these books this month. Wish me luck. May hopefully I don't like them. Um, <laughs> otherwise, that'll be two flops. But, yeah. Okay, that's... I keep losing count, guys. One more. <laughs> a book others read in school, but you didn't. Ooh. Am I gonna have to read two classics this month? Oh my god, guys! Blah, 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 blah. I'm okay. Okay. Um, book others read in school and I didn't. I'm like, I feel like maybe this one, Brave New World by Alex Huxley is the only one that I may have heard some people reading in school of the classics that I have. So I guess we're going to have two classics on here. We're going to go with this one. All right, guys. So that is my prompts. I'm sorry. I'm flabbergasted today, apparently. Um, we're going to go through them real quick. I'm a little stack. Okay. Um, these books don't like me, apparently. Let's hope I have better luck reading them. Um... <laughs> All right, so for the prompt, a book in school. Where's the prompt? <laughs> no, yes, no. <laughs> a book others read in school that you didn't. I'm going with Brave New World by Alex Huxley. If that's not actually right, then oh well, I don't have anything else. Um, and then a booktuber recommendation. We're going with The Silent Woods, Ashlyn Kaylee. Why can't I remember people's names? I swear. Uh, but she recommended this and she really liked it. So that is that. I don't know why I'm putting them together. <laughs> um, for anything I want, I just picked The Glass Menagerie by Tennessee Williams. This is a play. Um, I guess it's also kind of a classic. I'm just trying to kill myself with classics this month, apparently. Uh, but this is super short and it was on my TBR a couple months ago and I never got to it. So I want to like read it and get it off. <sighs> A book with an epilogue. I went with The Off Limits Rule by Sarah Adams because I really wanted to read a nice, fun Sarah Adams romance this month. And then a book with the green cover. We went with The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Susanna Collins. This is like a prequel, right? Because this happens before The Hunger Games to The Hunger Games series. I am probably gonna, because it has been years upon years upon years since I've read this series, I'm probably gonna reread The Hunger Games um, Catching Fire and Mockingjay, and this, and I'll probably, like, do a little vlog on the whole thing, um, so yes, I'm very excited about that, that also just means I have three extra books that I'm talking about here, so keep that in mind if we come to the end of the month, and you're like, Katri, why didn't you read all these books? I tried, okay, um, I might be a little bit over ambitious, <laughs> uh, which, what am I looking for? Um, a book that was recommended to you by family or friend. I'm going to go with Jane Austen. This has been recommended to me by a couple of friends. So for you friends who recommended this to me, I'm going to read it. Okay. I will try. We'll try not to hate her. <laughs> for a book with sky on the cover. 
we're going with Love Finds You and Romeo Colorado. This is just a cute little contemporary romance and I have not tried to read any of these books yet so we will see if I like them. And then for a book published in the year, not the year, the month that I was born, that would be January and I could only find one on my shelf. I didn't go through every single book on my shelf but that is Love Finds You in Humble, Texas. So I got a couple of romance, I guess like two. Go away. Um, <laughs> I like put them all with them and then I'm like, oh no, I can't stack them. I'm, I'm a struggle bus today, guys. Uh, so three romance. Yeah, three romance. And then I've got dystopian fantasy sci-fi, whatever the heck you want to call Hunger Games and classic play um thriller suspense and two straight up classics because i'm crazy this month and then i also have mara the see pride and prejudice is already trying to attack me jane austen does not like me and i do not like her can we not be friends Anyway, I have Mara, uh, Queen of the Nile or something like that. I think it's a middle grade. I might be very wrong on that, but I, I'll put it here. And then we're going up against these two books for my um, woman's Christian fiction. So I'll leave that down in the link below. But this is my little stack for this month. It doesn't look as big as last month's, at least. They look like smaller books because I've almost killed myself this past month. Um, I just feel like I'm trying to kill myself in a different way. And then... We can also add the 300 games book on here. I'll be okay. I'll be okay in July, guys. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so flustered today. Apparently, I can't talk. Or see, I just completely lost my train of thought. All right, guys. <laughs> that is the end of this video so i hope you guys enjoyed my ramblings and my spazziness because i've been all over the place today and <laughs> let me know if you read any of the books on my tbr this month and if you have like which one should i start out with you know let me know in the comments down below and let me know the book that you are most excited to read this month that's on your tbr Honestly, out of all of these, I kind of think I'm most excited to read The Ballad of Sna Songbirds and Snakes and then maybe The Off Limits Rule by Sarah Adams. I think those are my two top right now, but I'm also, I've really been wanting to read Brave New World by Alex Huxley, so there are quite a few on here. I'm just, I'm scaring myself, so. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time in my next video. Bye guys!